As we told you at the top of the hour, superstar Michael Jordan is about to speak publicly for the first time since the murder of his father, James Jordan. Michael Jordan is in Leesburg, Virginia for the Rose Elder Invitational Golf Tournament. He is about to conduct a live press conference that will take place in mere moments. Again, he issued a statement through his attorney on Thursday, but this is the first public statement from Michael Jordan concerning the death of his father. Two North Carolina teenagers have been charged with the murder of James Jordan. And we will hear from MJ, Michael Jordan, who is in Leesburg, Virginia. He's about to speak to the media. As you can see him there with the sunglasses, he understandably has been quite upset, but he, is, he has understandably quite uh, morning, concerned about what's going on. Good morning and welcome to the 23rd Annual Elder Invitational. It's a special honor for us to have all of our friends here this morning. We are here to have a lot of fun. We are here to share with you the Elder Scholarship Fund program, what this tournament represents, and to introduce to you some of our friends who have been coming here for a lot of years. Some of our board members are here, and we are deeply honored tremendously pleased to have Michael to return to the family. This is not Michael's first time here, so he knows us and we know him. And uh, we are here to, to talk about golf and what golf does for the children. And these wonderful people, Jim Fork, who's our defending champion, uh, Lynn Barney, Ray Kaiser is on our board, Joe Black is here. I see Joe Altamont, who's a board member. Jim Pritchard, who's been coming about 18 years now. Harry Crosby, Night Train Lane. Good morning, Bill Russell. <laughs> My friend Catherine, and all of our friends, Michael. Uh, contrary to what you might have read uh, in the press this morning, we are here to talk about golf. Michael will limit his remarks to golf and this tournament. And I'm sure that all of you all are as sensitive and as caring as we are. And I respectfully ask that you respect his wishes and ours. He is here to play golf and to relax with his wife. And he has done us a great honor. So they're all yours. Well, good. There are no questions, so I guess they'll all go out and play golf. <laughs> good morning. Well, I think uh, one of the reasons I did come here was, just as Rose said, I mean, I've been here before and I know the people here. and. You know, they are uh, very good friends, and they give me a great avenue to relax and uh, try to move forward. And uh, it's one of the reasons I decided to come. And uh, I think also it was a good uh, situation to see how I could mingle once again with, uh, you know, with the public or whoever's going to show up. But I knew I could mingle with my friends and people that I, I've been around before. So, you know, they have been very, very helpful, especially Bill Russell. In terms of uh, you know, making me relax and certainly just trying to, you know, feel help me feel better, and, and it's been very helpful, and that's one of the reasons that I came. Well, I I haven't really made uh, my definite plans for the rest of the summer. Uh, I think this was just more or less uh, a testing thing for me to come and see how well I can respond again for the summer. And uh, right now, you know, it's, everything's tender for my schedule from this point on. But uh, I just wanted to come and see how uh, I could react in these circumstances again. So you haven't considered preseason at this point either? Basketball? I haven't even thought about basketball. I didn't even think about basketball be before all this happened. So, uh, you know, right now it's just the summer relaxing and enjoying the company that I am in right now. Could you describe Bill Russell's golf game? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of luck involved, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be uh, just like the rest of us, having a good time, and certainly 
his expectations are higher than what they're supposed to be. <laughs> but, uh, that's everybody that plays the game of golf. I think that's something uh, we all try to try to enjoy. How are you doing? I mean, are you, you say you're here to relax. Are you, are you able to relax? How are you sure. I mean, if I wasn't, I would tell Rose and I would leave. You know, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I think Jim Thorpe took me out for a nice, nice little lesson last night. Uh, <laughs> but I'm really, I'm telling you, it's like being around good friends. And when you have some, uh, you know, some problems in your life or, you know, you need to be around some, a good support system. And uh, these people have done a good job in supporting me. And I knew that coming in here. So it was really a pleasure for me to come. And hopefully, uh, you know, I'm doing fine. I'm doing really good. I'm strong mentally, I'm strong physically, and I just gotta move forward. And at what point do you think that you will be able to talk? I don't know, when the time hits me. You know, right now I'm not on the time schedule, so whenever it hits me, I will. You mentioned the good friends, and it's good to have good friends. Were there at some point, though, that you were something maybe not, maybe not, but maybe were the friends that drive the force to pretty much? Certainly. Uh, I was in a lot of times where I didn't know if I was gonna make it here, and uh, I know I've committed myself, but. Uh, under the circumstances, uh, I really didn't know. And I knew some of the people, and Rose gave me a list of the people that were going to be here. And, you know, it's good people to be around, especially when you need that, that support from friends. And I'm the youngest of these people here, so. <laughs> okay, okay. It really helps out to be around elderly people. <laughs> when you're around, when you're around hey. older good friends. Hey, hey Mike. You did a good job yesterday of being a runner-up. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I came. I need this. Michael, the last time you were on the green, I, I, I uh, covered you when you didn't take any golf carts. I mean, we walked pretty much for a long time. Are you going to take these friends out here? As you mentioned, you're the youngest one out here. Are you going to have them walking? Too? I would love to walk, but I don't think these guys would make it to this. <laughs> <laughs> so you got I, that right. would <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be fair, Michael. Yeah, I think we're going to yeah, ride. They've been coming here a long this time. This is his uh, senior golf, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you tell us about the Bulls and the rest of your family. Doing fine. Uh, my family's pretty strong. And uh, we, we're together. We're bonded. And uh, naturally, it's tough for anybody to swallow, not just my family, any, any family that has this type of circumstances to deal with. But I think uh, we're, we're pretty strong, and we're moving forward in, with our lives. And... Uh, we got a lot of memories to think about, and uh, you know, we just try to keep forward. Michael, too many advice you got. Obviously, a lot of wise people up here advice during the week. Since you've been here, you like to share some best advice from the weekend. I've only been here. I got here yesterday, so uh, for the little time that I've gotten, I've been here. Uh, I haven't given either one of these guys any chance to give me advice, and that's good. <laughs> uh, I'm, I imagine today and possibly tomorrow I get more advice than I can need. But uh, right now, I think they just more or less been trying to. I want you to change your grip on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the advice. Change your grip on that part. Has there been any one person who's been really helpful in getting you going? Probably my wife is, is the most. You know, she's been very supportive and she certainly hadn't let me out of her sight that much, which is. You know, good. You know, you really need that support sometimes. And uh, in terms of here, yes. I got a bunch of support from these guys. It's hard to single out who's really giving me the best support. I know Jim Thorpe took five dollars from me yesterday. <laughs> I I had it back. But other than that, <laughs> had a bad day. <laughs> I haven't even thought about that. Uh, that's something that I didn't even think about uh, until the time comes. Thank you. All right, Mike. Great. Thank you very much. Yes. Can we ask Chuck if he's going to play? Sure. Michael Jordan speaking publicly for the first time since the death of his father. He respectfully declined to answer any specific questions concerning the death of his father, but on Thursday he issued a statement through his attorney, David Falk, and he said he was disturbed and outraged by the media's handling of the recent murder of his father. We will have much more on the Saturday morning edition of Sports Center that will come up at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. We'll see you then with much more then. Right now we return you to our regularly scheduled programming, Ultimate Outdoors. Again, we'll see you at 11.30 Eastern with the Saturday morning edition of Sports Center.